Hello students, I'm Imani Sharma, your UGC Net Educator. In this new YouTube video, we are going to move forward with the Paper 1 concept series which are related to teaching and research aptitude and the unit of ICT. So in the previous videos, we have tried to cover, we have tried to talk about the language processors which are there, what is the differentiation, similarities between them. We have also covered hardware, software, same the case with them as well, talking about the similarities, differences and markets and its type. But what are we going to deal with in today's video? We are going to talk about web 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0. What are these? What is the whole thing that comprises of this very particular three web versions which are there from which the questions generally are asked from web 3.0. But we cannot miss web 1.0 and 2.0, correct? Before directly jumping onto the video with the content of these three things, I have an important thing to say that we are going to start with the course on paper 1 from the 10th of July, correct? But we are also going to start with other two subject specific areas of UGC net. We are going to start with English literature paper 2 and political science paper 2 for UGC net from the same day that is 10th of July. For more information regarding the course, you can click on the link provided in the description below. Thank you so much and now coming back here again. Web 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, what are these? First of all, I would try to give you a brief introduction as in how all the things developed. Correct? The evolution of World Wide Web is what we are talking about in here. When the internet was there, the World Wide Web, WWW, was launched and of course, just like we evolve as human beings from babies, from infants to adolescents to, you know, let's just say kids, adolescents and then we are adults, same is the case with web services and web as well. So it was www which also developed and you know had an evolution over time with the growth of the internet as well so what were the changes that we were seeing between web 1.0 2.0 and 3.0 is what we are going to discuss significant changes can be seen web 1.0 2.0 and 3.0 helps us grasp the advancements and potential of the internet and how internet and websites were used. So, www signifies the world wide web, the you know web pages which are stored in here. First of all, as always, we are going to move forward with web 1.0. Web 1.0 has another name which is known as read only web. Now, you see here, why do I call it a read only web? Because of the fact that the web pages which were there under web 1.0, they were really having certain kind of static content. The content did not get updated, it did not get any kind of, you know, changes or modifications per se, but it was static content there and there. Early stages of the internet, how it developed, right? So, these were the early stages, hence web 1.0, characterized by static websites where information was mainly consumed rather than created or shared. So, any person who is going to, who was using web 1.0 web pages, he just used the internet to have or search the information about anything like we do in today's time. But I'll give you an example of other things as well as in how it has evoluted, correct? So, coming back here again, you as a person who is going to use web 1.0 pages, web, web 1.0 web pages, you are just visiting the website, you are just reading the content. You are just consuming it rather than you creating itself or you sharing it with other people, correct? For example, websites with basic HTML and limited interactivity such as early online directories where you could find the information about people, their phone numbers or informational sites which used to be there, they are certain examples of, you know, web 1.0. So, HTML may be usually HTML is a language, hypertext mark markup language which is used by, which is used to create web pages of course. Correct? So, these web pages are created using HTML and other types of languages as well. So, static content was one thing which was characterized in web 1.0. What were the uses of web 
focused on providing information so it was just providing information and the people who were visiting those particular websites they were just consuming it establishing an online presence for businesses and organization that this product has been launched so on and so forth these are the online directories from where you can gain access to the numbers or the addresses of various people right digital platform for static content news articles product catalogs company profiles etc could be seen in web 1.0 format web 1.0 web pages moving forward we have the second stage of the development of internet and www we get to know about web 2.0 which is known as read write web or social web now before we jump on to why do we call it a social web we know that web 1.0 was known as read only so we know that content was static there you were just going to read the content from there here you can read or write and hence it is social web the examples first of all we can see facebook twitter linkedin etc you can share your profiles right you can upload your pictures on instagram you can tweet on twitter so what are you doing you are socializing using these particular social networking sites and providing sharing your own views as well so participation user participation is there you are also participating not just reading the content of other people but you are also uploading your own, own photos etc interactive content let's just say that you posted something let's just say here youtube right now even you are viewing this video on youtube if you if you will comment down below someone will reply correct so that interaction is being built in here so that is why it is also known as interactive web collaboration could be done user generated content you as a user are going to generate content upload it on the social networking sites and social interactions which happen online correct examples are facebook twitter we can also take an example of instagram here right which is the example of web 2.0 because you are interacting with other people you are liking their posts they are liking your posts they are commenting etc you are viewing the other information which is there then the users it empowered the users to create share interact with content right through various platforms and tools tools we have already uh, you know given the examples of wordpress you can blog using wordpress people can you know show their opinions there so they are also interacting with you social networking content creation commenting sharing collaboration etc all these things are the uses of what web 2.0 so of course i gave you the examples which till today are used then we have web 3.0 which is this stage that we are currently now on so web 3.0 is the third stage of the development of the internet and www which is also known as so web 3.0 is also known as semantic web and this question has been asked in the net examination that which out of all these are is known as a semantic web so it is web 3.0 semantic intelligent web as well which represents the future vision of the internet how future oriented the internet is going to be how in the future will it work will it look etc so intelligent web we talked about intelligent personalized customized and contextually aware experiences are the one which can be coming under what web 3.0 which come under web 3.0 so aajkal you would have heard this very particular thing ai that is artificial intelligence we have certain you know let's just say let me just give you an example a quick example of an ac which you can turn on even if you are at your office so while you leave your office you will turn on the ac so that your room is cooled pre cooled even before you reach your home your room etc so what are those things the machines are interacting with one another with the usage of artificial intelligence ai another example here could be virtual assistants like siri and alexa right so we say hey alexa play koi sa bhi song right we talk about set an alarm hey siri set an alarm for 6 am so these are the ones which are intelligent enough these machines these virtual assistants are intelligent enough to interact and you know work according to the commands that we provide them with 
and recommendation systems. Now let's just say you visited a website where you were trying to see different types of shirts. Now on Instagram even, that would be a negative or a positive thing as well. You will be seeing shirts and shirts only from different websites. You will be viewing something on Facebook, you will get ads on those very particular things. So recommendation systems also work accordingly because the information is stored at the back end. Correct? So that is web 3.0. What are the uses? Focuses on leveraging advanced technologies like AI, machine learning and natural language. So of course Siri, Alexa etc. They are understanding our natural language and processing the information that we provided them with or the commands that they should be acting on. To provide personalized recommendations, predictive capabilities and seamless integration of information across platforms. So even if I told you that you viewed something on your browser, these things will pop out in your Instagram, Facebook, other things, other websites as well. So differences, web 1.0 was a one-way communication channel where you just and just read. So it was a read only web. Then we had web 2.0 which is known as read write web which created user generated content. The users the were the ones who generated or created the content and they were interacting with each other. So the interaction sharing of things like we share memes over Instagram with our friends. What are those? They are web 2.0 right platforms. Web 3.0 builds upon web 2.0. So it is of course, as of course it is an evolution which is taking place. So it will be having certain characteristics of the previous web. So web 2.0 ke baad web 3.0 aya. So of course web 3.0 had certain characteristics and it got built upon web 2.0 by incorporating artificial intelligence within it and semantic technologies for more intelligent and personalized or customized experiences. Correct? These were certain differences. Now the conclusion is that we all should be knowing first of all the differences between these three, how the web, how www developed over time with the usage of internet Correct. What were the changes that we could see on the web pages? Now with the examples, things would be clear to you all that yes, what web 1.0 was, what web 2.0 was and same is the case with web 3.0. They represent a significant shift in how we interact with the internet. So interaction, how we are using. We are using the internet just for viewing the content. We are using the internet to share the content with web 2.0. And we are using the internet for performing functions like playing music. Correct? Unique uses and advancements have been there which have brought this kind of shift and evolution in the system of www which we time and again experience in today's time. So, of course, these were certain things that we were supposed to cover in today's lecture when it comes to web 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0 and I hope the entire confusion between these three is sorted out in your all minds, right? I'll see you again in another video. Thank you so much and have a good day.